So back to the quad runner again. I've done a, a few different things to it, to the lighting and such. So I'm just going to go over that. Um, basically what we have here is the ignition switch in the middle, two lights here and here, and then a headlight there and a taillight in the back. So all the way left with the key, when you just put it in, is off. One click is on, and two clicks is on with the headlight and taillight on. If you'll notice when I switch it from off to on, this light comes on and this is our neutral indicator light letting us know we are in neutral. So if I were to switch gears, there, pop up the first gear there, it would come off and now we know we're not in neutral anymore. And this is also equipped with a neutral safety switch so if I try to start it in anything but neutral, it does nothing. However, if we bump it back down to neutral and try to start it, it'll go. Now, the other light here is actually the reverse indicator. So if we pull this knob up, now we're in the reverse gear. And that lets us know uh, we're going to go backwards. This uh, reverse, we can only get to reverse if we're already in neutral. And then we pull the knob up. Uh, we can't pull the knob up from first, second, third, fourth, or fifth. It won't. It won't do anything for us. I, th I think there's actually a, like a lock built in, so you can't do that. Um, but anyways, if I flip it to the second position there, we have the headlight and tail light that turn on. We have regular and a high beam, so we have two different settings for there. And as far as the tail light goes. There's only one setting, it's just a tail light, it's not a brake light, so it's just a constant on, and that's all that does. So, turn that off. So now all the lights work, and everything is how it should be on it, as far as the electrical system goes. And that's uh, one more thing that I've accomplished.